Hey, North Shore Scientists. This is Mr. Santos, your science lab teacher, and we're here with... Hi, my name is Jordan Santos, and I'm in Ms. Preza's class and Mr. Ice's class. Jordan, so today we're going to do a little science experiment. We have um, a couple items here that we're going to do. A simple experiment you could do at home uh, with your parents, with your brothers, with your sisters. I have Jordan uh, guess what what the object is going to do. So right now he's uh, circling the object. Um, if it's going to sink or float, um, he's going to set it up for you guys, and then we'll we'll get ready to test it. All right, so Jordan has his sheet filled out. Are we ready to test this, Jordan? Yes. All right, so for the sake of this video, we're going to do it two times each. We're going to test it out. We're going to do it in order, uh, starting with wood. Jordan, what was your prediction? What did you guess? What's going to happen when you toss in the wood? I guess if the wood is going to float. You think the wood is going to float? Let's yeah. test it out. Go ahead and test it out. Just let it go. Ooh. So as you can see, the wood is floating. But let's see. If we push it down a little bit, it does go down. But guess what? It's it up. It comes back up. So that means that the wood floats. So Jordan, go ahead and mark this down as a your answer. What happened the first try? It floats. Floats. Okay, so we're gonna try it again. Um take take that one out, put it here to the side, and then let's do the next one. Plastic spoon. So go ahead and test test out the plastic spoon. And as you can see it floated. Floated. It floats <laughs> okay so we're gonna continue to going on with this and then we'll give you the results at the end all right so we saw that the rock sank and the lucky coin also sank um let's go ahead and try the lime go ahead jordan let's try the lime hold on your prediction was that the lime is going to sink why do you think the lime is going to sink jordan? because it's because it might be heavy it might be heavy oh that's a good question let's see let's test it out uh oh what happened it's floating. it floats it floats. all right so jordan was confused he predicted that the lime is going to sink but it floats so i want you guys to pause the video and i want you guys to think about why does it float if it, jordan said it was heavy Is density, does density have to do with how heavy something is? Or does it have to do with how much matter is stuff inside? Okay. This time we also added the chess piece, which is made out of what, Jordan? Uh, plastic. Plastic. So does that remind you of something? You put here that it chess piece was going to sink. You also thought it was heavy. But what what can you relate that plastic piece with? What else? The plastic spoon. This plastic spoon. So over here, you said the plastic spoon was going to float, and it did float, which is good. Now we said a chess piece, which is also made out of plastic, it floats. So can we assume that all plastic things float? Yes. Maybe. That's a good observation, Jordan. Let's continue. All right. So Jordan has completed his form. Um, it turns out he did make two mistakes. Uh, mistakes which they're not really considered mistakes it is a hypothesis it is a guess so we are learning from this um, mistake so it's okay if you make a mistake as long as you learn from it all right so the items that we did was the wood plastic spoon the rock the rock, <laughs> the, rock um, the lucky coin the lime and the chess piece all right so these are items that you you could possibly have at home and maybe other items that you have at home i want you guys to try it as well um jordan had a question about oil and we have oil right here and what do you think is going to happen when we mix the oil jordan uh i think uh the oil and the water together is going to mix like yellow and brown together so it's going to make a mixture all right so we'll see what happens all right, so we're going to test it out. We're going to mix the oil into the water. And Jordan's prediction was that the oil is going to mix with the water and turn brown. That seems very logical. So 
I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to think, hmm, what do you think is going to happen when the oil goes into the water? Okay, pause the video. All right, guys. So what do you guys think? Let's see. Let's test it out. Go ahead and pour that in. Mm. And there you have it. Jordan, what do you think? It turned it like... The oil is floating and like so and like it like it's like upside down water. It's like it's like it's upside down, but it's not because it's it's like the the top. Mm -hmm. It's not upside down. The the oil when I when I poured it, it it came to the floor and then it went up. Yeah, like it was underwater. Like, <laughs> it flipped. I mean, it flipped. Down. Very good. So. Yeah, so like you said, the oil does float, and as you can see, some of the bubbles are actually starting to float because the oil is stuck down there, but it's trying to go up. This is because of density. The density of oil is less than water. Therefore, oil floats. What can you say about water? Is water more dense than oil or less dense than oil? Okay. So go ahead and write your sentence in the comment. Ask your parents to type the sentence in. Is water more dense than oil or less dense than oil? We'll be checking it out. Hi. All right, North Shore Ponies, this is it. Scientists, good job, get to work. We have a lot to do. Go ahead and get items from... Outside, inside your house, Where else anywhere. Should... Anywhere, very good. So you basically can look for things that that you don't know if they sink or float and test them out. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing what you got. Um, Till next time, this is Mr. Santos, your science lab teacher, and we have our special guest, <laughs> Jordan from Miss Stratton. He says, do you have a message for Miss Stratton and Miss um, Presas? I miss you so much and I hope you have a great week it's okay, Jordan. All right. Well, What's as you can families? see, yes, of course. We'll see you guys and y'all stay safe. Um, we'll be back.